All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. Not wearing any pants, but I've got a scarf and a jacket on because it's a little bit cold. Could have just worn pants and alleviated the problem, but I want to let your imagination run wild and then make yourself violently sick afterwards. So today, we've got a bottle of Stella Artois unfiltered. Um, yeah, an unfiltered version of Stella Artois. La bière non filtrée de luxe. Um, God, it's as if I am Belgian, isn't it? 5% ABV. I picked this up in my local bargain booze. Cheeky little four pack. Uh, I've got to say, it's really nicely presented. Um, the the green um, artwork matches the green bottle. A nice foil cap. And uh, oh, look at that. It's even got its own bottle cap. Stop pronouncing the P's, Peter. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. Stella was my um, sort of like go to back in the day. So, you know, we shall see. God, I bet that was a wonderful freeze frame of me grimacing then as I was uh, opening the bottle. There we go. All you need. All you need. And uh, for the occasion, I've got a, a suitable glass, mainly because it's the only real glass that I've got downstairs. So we'll see just how unfiltered Stella Artois Unfiltered actually is. Probably should have actually had a normal bottle of Stella, but I'm guessing like a billion people who do the odd beer review on YouTube have already done that video, so. But anyway, so beer in the glass then, and uh, do you know what it is? Oh, it is a little bit unfiltered, isn't it? Nice gentle carbonation, uh, no head at all, um, could be down to the glass. But um, yeah, sort of like a goldeny amber look to it. Anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. It just smells exactly what you'd expect Stella or a macro lager to smell like, to be honest. Now, people use that in a sort of like a derogatory way, but there's a familiarity with um, a macro lager. And macro doesn't always mean lack of, lacro of flavour. Um, I should just tighten this and end it all shouldn't I after that joke but yeah it's got that sort of like sweetness a little bit of breadiness a dusting of maltiness aside from that not much to report ladies and gentlemen so although I can rest assured it's primarily gentlemen who watch this anyway is what it is give it a taste cheers tastes like Stella but I don't know why I started off that word making it sound like I'm starting with an L lot um, but it does have a little bit more oomph to it and do you know what it kind of reminds me of Like a German land beer or Keller beer. Definitely seems to have a little bit more of a, a bulky roundedness to it. Don't know if you heard my stomach then. It's probably turning after my terrible attempts at humour in this video. It's a little bit of pepperiness there. I mean, it's still a light bodied lager, don't get me wrong, but it just seems to have a little bit more, a little bit more to it. 
like obviously the the process of filtering so you've taken out <laughs> one of those processes so i don't know is this supposed to like replicate what stellar artois would taste like at the main brewery like fresh from um the not brewing kettles fermenters I'm a bit on the fence, right, with this statement I'm going to make. Part of me thinks if you took the biggest knobheadish craft beer snob that you could think of and you presented this in like a schooner, schooner, not schooner, or like an unbranded, slightly crafty, drinking vessel part of me thinks well aside from this aftertaste that's starting to build up um part of me thinks that some people might think that it's a, it's a mediocre sort of like craft keller lager yeah definitely a little bit more bready tiny bit more flavor to it um i'm again i'm not one of these people who just like belittles macro lager drinkers, do you know what I mean? Because it's, at the end of the day, it's just an alcoholic beverage. You know, you, you it's not a status symbol. Is it status or status? Can't remember. It's not like, it's not a symbol. It's an alcoholic beverage, do you know what I mean? You're not cooler. You're not more interesting just because you like craft beer. Do you know what I mean? In fact, I find, I'm not going to lie, I find a lot of craft beer people really fucking annoying. Really fucking annoying. Just, I can guarantee if you're in a craft beer bar, you're going to overhear much more, or many more, I should say, many more tedious, annoying, piss and blood boiling conversations than you would in your local boozer that's got like Carling, Foster's, uh, Moretti sometimes. Uh, we've got Madri at our local pub. So I've got, I've got Moretti, I've got Madri. Cause light, I like a good pint of cause light, gets the job done. It's nice, crisp, clean, refreshing. Jaya, it's just, I've started to like really enjoy like just a, a local pub or labour club sort of atmosphere. Especially our local labor club where alcohol is just dirt cheap. So, you know, jobs are good and can watch the football when it's on. We've got darts. We've got two snooker tables, even though I'm shit at snooker. Whereas, like, fucking vegan cafe craft beer bar has vegan toasties and fucking Cluedo. I'm joking, there are some really, I, I do really enjoy going to craft beer places. And I am a pretentious hipster twat, so, you know. But I don't mean drinking beers like this in an ironic way, I just enjoy it. You know, the weather's starting to pick up. Um, it was a beautiful day today. Hopefully we have this same weather on the weekend so we can have a barbecue just get like a, a crate of whatever lager, chill it down. That's what I love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do spend silly amounts of money on beer sometimes. And I like traveling, going to specific bars, brewery taps, pubs, that sort of thing. But just... Less than a minute's walk up the road. Well-priced 
beer offerings. There's nothing wrong with that, do you know what I mean? Plus, Marco Pierre White is now involved with uh, Stella in terms of like the marketing campaigns. Although I think they just used him as a one-off because oh, he's, he swore. Which, by the way, that advert of like that Stella Artois, they give money back to... I don't know how that works. It's like bar staff with every pint that you buy. That advert is genius. The way they intercut his swearing or cut off his swearing with an action. But um, yeah, I'm just rambling now, aren't I? This isn't bad. This is really not that bad. It's like a, a Keller. It's a Keller Artois. That's what they should have called it. They should have called it a Keller Artois. Um, oh, we'll just wait for S43 to make a beer like that. Um, and then get absolutely ravaged by Stella or whoever owns Stella. I'm not too sure. Again, something I don't give a flying fuck about. And people are going, oh, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. You're the reason why every week 10,000 craft beer shops shut. I support when I can. And yeah, I go to buy supermarket beer sometimes, but when I'm in Wigan, Tesco, Northern Beer Temple. I'll make a nice order of Northern Beer Temple, although I don't do it as often as, sh as I should do. And then I'll pick up a couple of fridge fillers from Tesco's. Ooh. <clears throat> That's what I think of you people. You're all scum, but I love you all. And everyone's entitled to their opinion. And um, yeah, I think this is actually quite nice. Um, it's definitely a lot better than the 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 the. It's definitely a lot better than what regular Stella has become. Which again seems to be the go-to sort of beer for Christmas um, for the family. So I'm I'm happy to uh, indulge in in a few 275 milliliter bottles. What the fuck is it with those small beer bottles, by the way? Oh, I'm getting angry now. Oh, oh, blood's boiling. That's my attempt at crystal ear, but. Yeah, I, I actually quite like this. Can't remember how much it is. Probably well overpriced from Bargain Booze uh, where I got it, but yeah just got something about it and uh, low battery so i'm going to end it there so if you've tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below it looks like i've had something rest on my head it's gone all flat there hasn't it i need to look more artistic like a troubled genius artist or a novelist um anyway just fucking kill me if you tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below and i shall hopefully see you all later bye bye